day. It's usually uh, here about 64 people running around, battling it out for domination. All right, Frank, here we go on the first hole, set for, dare I say, takeoff from this aircraft carrier. Well, that's right, Rich. Uh, you really got to make sure that you get the right flight on this shot coming in because you want it to land soft on this uh, opening hole. It's uh, 186 yards to the middle of the green. Obviously, there's those uh, palms and trees to the left of the screen that have to be avoided. And, of course, you don't want a beach on the right. Oh, that's off the beaten track. That's you've got five minutes to find it. And setting up here in the rough. Ooh, what a shot right there. Beautifully done. Now to the second hole in Frank. I'd be happy to see something with just the normal amount of obstacles, say, or a bunker, maybe a pond. Uh, those would be rather benign compared to what we're seeing right here on this second hole. Yeah, that's no love shack. That's a guard shack there on the right of this green, uh, just past that bridge. So this uh, green well protected on that right side. Of course, water adorns this, uh, this island green and tons of, uh, well, local fauna around the green. This is one green you do not want to miss. Way off the mark, misses the green to the right. Just wants to hit about an inch behind the ball. It's in the hole. Just a sensational shot right there. Oh my goodness, Frank, I have never seen anything quite like this. What in the world's going on? That's a destroyer and it's off course and it's heading straight for the island. Look out. Well, we're going to have to send in backup now, Rich. We'll need a drone just to try and find out the exact yardage because that ship now has blocked the view. Talk about a tough defense setup around a green. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. I tell you, those shoes at the end of the day, they're going to have so much sand in them. Don't bring those home. It is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're looking your chops over that one. The shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. Uh-oh. This one is... So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, let's hope uh, this swing he hasn't still got the floaties on. Has to regroup, playing his fifth shot after hitting it in the water. It's not all lost. Once again, check the yardage, check the wind, start again. Frank, here at the fourth, there's an awful lot going on. There certainly is. Solar panels, uh, radar tower is up and ready to go, so it will confirm the landing on the other side if it's successful. This uh, rather long par three, around the 230-yard mark, so this is going to be all carry got to land that ball on the green. It will not run through that beach area. And, of course, the trees and the palm trees all the way around. If this isn't flighted properly, it will not find the destination. Seems like too much for just one man. This looks like a job for an entire flight crew, Frank. Well, Rich, we should dig ourselves a trench and see what happens. How tough is this going to be now from the rough, Frank? Oh, it's tough to say, Rich. I mean, so much is going to depend on that lie. I'm going to need a little bit of luck. And it is in. Amazing. Amazing. Now, blind tee shot. Got to go over those two rocks in front of you. And just keep it right of those palms in the distance. This is way left going left. And that one's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Yeah, that was a little overambitious. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Par for McElroy, but you're just waiting for that moment when he hits that accelerator and pulls away.
second shot. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. Frank, we hear the sports psychologists say, forget about the bad shot. Put it behind you. But, but you know, it just isn't that easy sometimes. You make the double bogey as he did on a previous hole, you're steaming mad. It's hard to let it go. Well, it's like a lot of things in life, too. You've got to choose whether you want to be your own friend or your own foe. And, you know, right now you can see that he's fighting himself, and, and that's the biggest difference. You've got, to, you've got to realize your best friend out there is you. Confidence right now clearly is shaken. Frank, I hate to go negative, but let's clear a few things up. The penalties when you hit it in the water versus hitting it out of bounds. Yeah, some people, um, that's a good question, Rich, because some people think they're almost the same, but when you hit it out of bounds, you're actually losing stroke, a stroke and a distance. For example, if I'm teeing off on a, on a par four and I hit it out of bounds, I'm, I'm penalized a stroke for hitting it out of bounds and I'm hitting my third shot off the tee. When I hit it into a water hazard, um, I don't have to lose all of that distance. I can drop the ball up just short of the water hazard. So the distance penalty isn't the same as if it was out of bounds. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Well, Frank, this is where a golf club may not be good enough. You might need a shovel here. Oh, this is going to take uh, some sort of digging. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. And getting ready for the putt. Hasn't been easy, but he'll take it. That's a par. Three over for the day. Rounding out this front nine mission here, the ninth hole. Shot over the building. Well, I need to be careful. The front left of the screen is guarded by a tower, and anything right, you'll be ducking for cover in the trenches. Been a real battle out here today. Just need to keep it all together. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Just five feet left. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Start of the back nine mission, Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner, Frank Novello. Frank, tell us a little bit about the 10th. Frank missed the green off the tee. Yeah, but um, this is certainly a tricky little shot coming up here at the par three. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. He'll need to be strong with this. And he's made the green. Just a little sloppy right now. No other way to say it. Another bogey and four over for the day. The 11th hole here at Paracel Storm, now a military playground. Frank, certainly the players are thankful having traded the guns for golf clubs. Good time out there so far. A little bit of an obstacle course though here at 11. You can see the weather vanes that adorn the right side of this hole. Tee shot has to be played across that seawall. So once again, all carry. And let's see if he can land softly on the other side. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Mm, 
Oh, I thought he had that. Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. Up to the 12th, making a trip across to an island green, Frank. It looks more like a shipwreck island, and that's an evil place to put the green on that side. Uh, very well defended by that rock wall as well as the water. And of course, anything short, those big rocks that protect this green. This is probably the most heavily guarded par three on the golf course. Make bogey or worse here, they might strand you out there. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Frank, this ball's in the rough. You like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. Uh, you've got to hit it powerfully, and you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. Going right back to the large island here at the 13th, Frank. Trenches uh, behind will certainly protect anything that goes a little bit long. Left of this green, you better call in the Navy. Uh oh, this one's going left, Frank. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for par. All right, hanging in. That's a par and four over. Frank, now at the 14th and really a simple objective here. It looks like an old sand dune where they've just put a green on top, uh, rather benign. It might just sneak up on you, though. It really just looks like green and beaches with a few palm trees behind, but beware. Hoping to get this up and down here, Frank, at the par three after missing the green. Yeah, it's not all bad. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Perfect, and in the hole, what a shot. Frank, in any war zone, the element of surprise is always so critical, and we see that here at the 15th. Yeah, this green is fortified by the jungle that surrounds it, and just a little feature that you often don't see on a golf course. It's not a bunker in the middle of that green, just a mini forest. Just a little short shot here. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. That's how the best in the world play it, Frank. Well, I tell you, a little lucky that it went in, but it was always going to be close. 16th hole here at Paracel Storm, and Frank, as we begin this closing stretch, strikes me, this is tough guy golf out here, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. Uh, if you want to earn your stripes by playing this golf course, this is the place to be. In the spirit of conservation, we have some solar panels to boost up the finish, and uh, the hole not overly long. Let's see what the lieutenant can do this time. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. That is a solid par putt. Now to the 17th hole, and as we come to the end of this round, you salute the players because they're out there carrying not only their golf clubs, but the med kits and the meal packs because this is no ordinary golf course. You have to be on alert, high guard all the time. You know, this is not heading in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Frank made this hole just a little bit harder hitting it into the rough. I would say a lot harder. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Oh, yes, he's hold it, Frank. Unbelievable. From that distance. Frank, the job is almost complete here at the 18th hole, and a good job at that as we have seen some spectacular golf here at Paracel Storm in the South China Sea. Just one more battle ahead, the difficult 18th. Should they succeed, then I think they're worthy of a salute.
This won't hurt him. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, he'll have to take a full swing at this putt for birdie. This is long, but every now and again, one of these finds the bottom of the cup and makes that magic sound. Could it be? And he has it, Frank. I don't believe it. Frank, they gave us a great show today. No, they certainly did. Course played well. You got what you deserved out there. Some outstanding performances. And for our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner, saying so long for now.